Occasionally, you may run into a situation where you have a CSV file or you can generate a CSV file full of usernames, passwords, group memberships, and, and that type of thing, and you need to get that information into Active Directory, and you don't want to uh, print out CSV files and manually create them through the uh, RSAT toolkit in Active Directory. That would be a lot of data entry. It would be double data entry if you're pulling it out of a database and, and then manually putting into uh, another database. So there's a way to speed up that process. Uh, if you can, whatever database is storing things like first name, last name, email address, uh, passwords, uh, groups, whatever, if you can have that database, if you can, uh, whether it's a, a SQL database or an Oracle database, whatever the case may be, generate a CSV file from that database and use that CSV file and something like PowerShell script to uh, import that data into Active Directory, it will make your life a lot easier. Or someone, whoever's doing all the data entry, it'll make their life a lot easier. And the beauty of this is you can run this script as many times as you want. You can run it every five minutes or once a day. It's totally up to you. So if you don't know what a CSV file is, it's actually a comma separated values file. And I have one open right here. It's very short. It only has uh, one line for the headers and then uh, two accounts. So how CSV file works, uh, how a CSV file works is you'll have the attributes or the header going across the top and those are separated with commas. And then for every line, um, the value will correspond to the uh, the header so here we have the first block will be given name and so on account one the given name would be John and on account two the given name would be Sally and given name is usually the first name and SN is the surname or the last name and as you can see so the first account the last name would be Doe and the second account the last name would be Smith and so the display name uh, will be a combination of the first and last name. So uh, John Doe and Sally Smith. And then user principal name and email will be jdoe at widgets.com and smith at widgets.com. And the SAM account name uh, would be jdoe and smith. And the password would be 1234567 and 8765432 and then the group membership as you can see John Doe is actually a member of the store manager group and he's also a member of the sales group and Sally is a member of no groups and we'll get into that um, in just a minute I actually specifically put that in here so we could talk about what happens if if there are no groups so um, in this PowerShell script, the first thing it does is import the Active Directory module. That way we can, we can work with, with AD. Uh, it goes ahead and uh, defines the AD users variable as the users file.csv file. And this is the file right here that it's going to be pointing to. And uh, for each user in AD users, this is basically saying do the following here for for every line for every user we need we need to do this okay and so um, now what we're gonna do is the script will go ahead and populate these variables with the data from the CSV file okay so uh, Sam account name password given name s name or SN display name and groups if you take a look at the CSV file those are all things that we have defined here okay um, let's see so uh, one quick thing about the group membership as you can see here it's got uh, uh, split and then a uh, semicolon Okay, and so I did that because sometimes you may have more than one 
group. You might be a member of multiple groups. And uh, in our case here, when this CSV file is generated, um, I'm having the groups separated by a semicolon. Okay? So um, uh, with that being placed there, the script knows that if this is here, uh, to go ahead and you know add this person to the next group so you could have as many groups listed here in a row as you wanted to you could just keep going and going there could be 15 20 groups that they're a member of and as long as each group is separated by a, a semicolon then uh, then it'll be good to go okay um, so then that leads me to this part of the script uh, okay, so we've already defined username, password, password, first name, last name, and the display name. We've pulled all that information from the CSV file. And so now we want to take a look at accounts that are in the CSV file that aren't members of a group. If you look at the CSV file and the group column is blank, like Sally Smith here, um, this script will actually remove the user from Active Directory. So let's say you know two days ago the script was was run and Sally Smith was a member of the sales uh, sales department group and uh, so she's got an account and it's in Active Directory and has a password and everything is is good and the the account is enabled. If this the new updated CSV file shows that Sally Smith isn't a part of any group, let's say she got fired or quit, uh, whatever, uh, if she's not a part of any group, then this script will actually uh, say, hey, you're not a part of a group, so I'm actually going to remove you from Active Directory. And uh, this is good if you do, um, if, you, if you have any web services or any software at all that, that is pay by the user, uh, you would definitely want to keep your your amount of users uh, trimmed up. You don't want to be paying based on on the number of users, and and you know every year you just have more and more people that you're paying for when they're not even necessarily uh, there, you know, working or doing whatever. So let's see. It'll remove that user from Active Directory, and then write the output that that username had no groups, so it was removed. Um, or if they're not in Active Directory, this script is not going to add them to Active Directory if they have no groups associated with them. So uh, let, me, let me go back and clarify you know, one more time. If the user is already in Active Directory and the new CSV file or an updated CSV file has blank group membership, the user will actually be removed from AD. If they're not in Active Directory, uh, they won't be added to Active Directory with a with a blank group membership. Okay, so let's continue on here. Um, all right, so now we check to see if the username is already in Active Directory because we need to do two things with this list of CSVs. Uh, with this list of CSV, uh, let me get that out right. We need to do two things with the users in the CSV file. We need to create a user if they're not there, or we need to update a user if they're already there, okay? Um, and we already know that we'll delete the user if, if they have no group membership. So now we'll check to see if this username is an Active Directory. So that's what this line right here does. Um, and if the user exists, then we're going to strip away all of their group memberships. And why we want to do that is um, group memberships change. You may be a member of a uh, sales manager department today, and tomorrow you might just be part of sales. Maybe you're not a manager anymore, or maybe you're not uh, part of the uh, security group anymore. And so um, what I do with this script is I basically say go ahead if the user exists take them out of all of the groups that they're a member of and then we'll just add back the ones that are in the CSV file and that was 
the quickest and easiest way that I could find to do that. There may be a better way to do that. I don't know. But uh, so anyway, that's what this this part of the script is going to do right here. It's actually going to um, pull up the the user and just go ahead and remove them from every group they're a member of. And um, then what it's going to do is go ahead and make sure that the password is set to never expire and that the account is enabled and that the, dis the uh, display name gets uh, updated. Um, and then it's going to um, go back and add that user to the groups that are in the CSV file. So for example, when this script runs and it takes a look at John Doe, it's going to add him to the store manager group and it's going to add him to the sales group. And when this part of the script runs for um, uh, Sally Smith, it's actually not going to, to do anything because it wouldn't make it that far. Um, since this part of the script right here would have caught this account and it would have uh, removed Sally from Active Directory and then the script would have ended for that user. So um, add the user back to the groups that it needs to be a member of and go ahead and read the password field and set the password to what the password needs to be. Uh, and again, that's whatever the password's going to be in the CSV file. Um, and then let us know what happened, write the output. Uh, username, password, and group updated. Okay? So we continue on, and all of this happens if the user is already in Active Directory. If the user is not already in Active Directory, and this lookup fails, so if, if the user is not in Active Directory, then the else statement here is going to run instead of this. Okay, so both of these aren't going to run for one user. So uh, if the script looks and says, whoa, you know, John Doe is not a member uh, in Active Directory. When I look up that name, I, I get nothing. It's going to skip the rest of this and it's going to drop to this. And so this part of the script uh, it does something a little bit different. It actually runs the new ad user command and then sets all of the uh, attributes to what we want it to be. And again, it pulls all of this data, um, SAM account, user principal, name, given name, surname, and display name, and the password. It pulls all of that from the CSV file. Okay? And then some of these things don't really pull from the CSV file. They're just enabling or disabling things like password never expires true. You don't, you don't need to, uh, you don't need to set that in the, uh, in the CSV file and, unless you wanted to. You actually could include that as a field and then certain users could have that true and certain users could have that false. Totally up to you. Um, so once the new AD user uh, command is run and all of this stuff gets um, populated into Active Directory. Um, it's going to go ahead and take a look at the groups, uh, the group section right here, and start adding the user to the correct group. Okay? So again, this would only be happening if there was an actual group listed in, in that field. If there's not a group, then this user won't make it that far. They'll get kicked out right here in the very beginning uh, of the script. Okay? So after the user gets created and added to the groups that it's supposed to be a member of, then we'll write the output that the username has been added to Active Directory. And we start all over again at the very top. Uh, for the next user, okay. So if you had a thousand, if you had a thousand lines in this file, you know, just kept going user after user after user, then this script will run for every single user, and do one of three things: delete the user, 
add the user or update the user, okay? And that's pretty much it. And uh, like I said, you know, this is, this is, uh, you know, there may be a better way to do that, but I know that this way works. Um, I've, I've tested it and everything seemed to be fine. And uh, you can run this script and uh, have the, the CSV file that it's pointing to, that, that it's actually uh, calling. Uh, you can have that CSV file updated however you want. And, um, and like I said, just about any system out there um, can export to a CSV file and uh, you can have you know whatever whatever uh, headers you want to put here these don't have to be you know these specifically um, you can call this uh, you could rename this to first name and rename this to last name and if you did that you could just come up here and and actually just change change these to match because it's actually going to look in the CSV file for that for that header. Okay, so uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.